Hi, I'm Andrew Connell. All right, now let's see how to create a SharePoint environment for SharePoint Server 2019. And it's actually the same thing for SharePoint Server Subscription Edition or SharePoint Server SE because they have the exact same dependencies and what they support with the SharePoint Framework. They only support the SharePoint Framework 1.4.1. So again, let's take a look at what our environment looks like. We have one version of Node installed that we can use, uh, version 6.17. But we already saw from the previous uh, from this video already was that um, that this is for SharePoint Server uh, 2016. So what we want to do is we want to install a new version. Well, you know from the link in the uh, notes that are associated with this video that we can use Node uh, version eight for this. That's what's supported for um, the 1.4.1. It's the latest version of Node. So I'll just say NVM install. LTS, and we can see that his code name is Carbon for that one. So I'll say LTS Carbon. And we'll just let this install, and everything is good now. So we got this version has already been set up. So the next thing we can do with this is I can then go in and I need to install everything that we need to get to install the SharePoint framework. Now I can use the same install the same uh, set of things that we had before that we were using before. There we go. So we can use, we are using the same Gulp CLI. We're going to use Yeoman, but this time we can actually use Yeoman V3. And I'll just take off all the numbers on the end of it and let it get the latest version of V3 because we know that works. Um, and then the latest version of the generator that I can use in this case is version 1.10 to create a 1.4.1 project. You always want to use the latest version of the generator that's possible to create any project. <clears throat> Um, and in this case here, because Node V8 is the latest version of Node that's supported for 1.4.1 projects, which is the version that is of SharePoint Framework that is on SharePoint Server 2019 and SharePoint Server SE, then I want to make sure I use the same, this, I want to stay on the same version of Node um, and the same version uh, and the late, using the latest generator that I can. And in that case, that's version 1.10. So I'm gonna go ahead and install all of these guys. So we'll go ahead and get this guy up and running. And we'll just wait for just a second and let him finish. All right, so we've got everything installed. We should be pretty good, but remember we can still create those aliases. So let's take a look at that. We'll do an NVM alias. And what we can do here is that we're gonna set this one, the name of this one. Uh, we didn't choose the one that we wanted. Let's do instead, let's do, um, this is the um, SPFX-1.10.0. And this is pointing to the version of the SharePoint framework or the version of Node that we just installed, which I know that's version 8.17.0. Um, okay, cool. So we'll set that one up and I will set another one of these up that points to the exact, to the one we just created called SPFX SP 2019 SE. So great. So now if I do an NVM LS, now we can see we've got aliases for SharePoint Server 2016 and SharePoint Server 2019. But does it work? Let's take a look. So CD dev, uh, let's create a new folder here. So this will be make der SPFX 2019 01. Uh, CD get in there. And now let's run yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint. But this time we'll actually say, wait, skip install. So now we're going to, it's going to prompt us to create a new project. What kind of project we want to create? I'll say SharePoint 2019 because that also includes SharePoint subscription edition as well. And then I'm just going to accept all the other default options. And once that project is created, let's double check and make sure that it's using the right stuff. So I'll say cat package.json. And sure enough, we can see that it, ha it does have everything that we need for the SharePoint framework. Uh, for working on prem. So that's part 1.4.1 and it's also part 1.4.0. Uh, so that's everything that we need. Now we're now in great shape. Now let's see how to set up our developer environment for SharePoint Server 2019 and SharePoint Server Subscription Edition or SE uh, with our with NVM on Windows. So again, we'll do an NVM LS, see what we've got installed. So we're currently on version 6.17. Dot one. We know that's not going to work for us here. We know we're going to need a version of Node uh, version 8. So I'm going to say nvm install 8.17.0. .0. 
and then we just go need to install everything uh, that we would need for SharePoint Framework development. Um, but this time we're going to use the SharePoint Framework version generator version 1.10 and we're also going to use node version 3 and again we don't have to do any of that cleanup stuff that we had to do for 2016. So we'll say nvm use jump to that version we just installed. Remember that's a step we don't have to do on Mac OS but we do have to do it on, on Windows. And I'm going to say um, gulp no, not gulp. I'm going to say npm install gulp-cli at 2.3.0, yeoman at version 3, and Microsoft generator SharePoint at 1.10.0, and install all the stuff global. We'll let this run, and we'll be right back. And now at this point, we can see everything that's been installed. We should be able to create SharePoint framework projects. Let's see. So I'm going to go to my dev folder and we'll create a new folder called SPFX 2019.01. We'll change directory to jump in there. And I will then go yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint skip install. And we should be prompted to be able to choose create our projects using SharePoint 2019, which sure enough we can. So I'll do 2019. Let everything run, and I'll do the same code um, package.json to be able to see that we can now create projects for SharePoint Server 2019 or SharePoint Server SE.